Hey, Mark, do you hear me? Welcome to Advocacy and Outreach. It's the 2nd of December, 2021. Yep. So agenda topics, adopt a plugin, upcoming events, advocacy budget, Google Summer of Code, and Jean-Marc's asked questions about measurement and what kind of data we might need in terms of measuring the health of the community. Any other topics we should put on the agenda? None for me. Okay. No. All right. So the Adopt a Plugin initiative is now, let's call it modernizing plugins. Uh, and the development is ongoing. Uh, ideas keep getting captured. As we capture them, we'll, we'll eventually place a developer tutorial on www.jenkins.io. And Jean-Marc has kindly agreed to be one of the reviewers. Thank you, Jean-Marc. Nice. Yes. Uh, uh, then a little, oh, go ahead, Jean-Marc. No, and I am starting uh, to rehash my experience with the new plugin, started today. So uh, it will be very welcome to cross the experiences. Great, all right, thank you. Well, and would you be willing, I may be able to give you access to a site that looks like the tutorial, but is hosted separately. So maybe maybe we, we should try that with you. Uh, Mark, provide a link to a copy of the tutorial. Oops. Because I think, I think that might help. Yeah. Great, all right. And especially before I take any initiative to, to improve ex existing, to improve existing documentation, because if, if it's already done. So, well, and, and this may also let you contribute to that repository. Um, so to that, that pull request so that we get your content into it as you learn things and, and improve them. Great, all right. Uh, next topic then, upcoming events. Alyssa. Uh, so Fostum, I reached out to the organizer. Um, they do not um, have the um, plans for or any the dates and such um, in terms of, you know, when we can submit our information for the stand, but um, I'm waiting for that to be available soon. They're telling me it's... that it will be available soon. So I'm monitoring that. And then I will also um, reach out to Olivier with regards to the CICD dev room and try to get um, some Jenkins sessions in that dev room as well. Okay, so there was discussion in the governance meeting on Wednesday based on experience last year and experience in other conferences that we may not want to attempt the stand. Uh, Uli described his being present at last year's stand for multiple hours and having no visitors. Yeah. I'm wondering if we just declare that for this one, we're going to focus on talks, talk proposals for the CICD dev room mm -hmm. and, and involvement in other ways, but a stand may not, doesn't seem like it's a good use of the time of the people hosting the stand. Right. Um, do you think it would be worthwhile that, we still have, so I think the the pro about the stand is that it allows us to list out a lot of our content along with other exhibitors. Now we don't have to uh, host it, but geez. I think it would be good to get some visibility there in case if somebody wants to click on, you know, something about Jenkins, how to contribute to it, things like that. Okay. Okay, so there's what you're saying is there's more value than just whether or not people actually visit the stand. Yeah, just I think having that virtual presence there with offering, okay, these are the, the content we have, like giving them a place that they can go to for content. Um, not having somebody to having to virtually sit there and, 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 and um, host it. I think that's, that's fine. We can eliminate that part. But the other part we should probably should have there, space for valuable content to place on that, their site. Okay, so that feels like a good compromise. Can you, yeah. can you 
I will keep I will on take that and work a proposal. That. Great. Yes. All right. So finding that compromise, right? That's yeah. that's that's great. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, talks for the dev room. Yeah, and I agree, Jean-Marc, you're right. We should promote this to the dev list, right? That, that's, and, and we should, should propose our own talk ideas, right? Multiple yeah. talk ideas. Uh, two comments about that. The first one uh, being uh, we need to, before we promote, we need to have a better view on the dates for the, uh, uh, um, it, the the request for paper. No, it's the, uh, the deadlines. Yeah, the CFP. deadlines for submitting yeah. the talks title, CFP call for paper. Yeah, that, yeah. so I'll, uh, I'll gather that information and I can send that out, John Mark. Yeah, so we know when, when we start doing noise on the various lists, mm -hmm. uh, but rereading this, I think maybe we could uh, 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 get people prepared. The other comment I wanted to do for our talks, um, we, we should start to build some kind of uh, a talk ID uh, repository or, or dump or list or mm -hmm. if uh, s s somehow to have a set of presentations that are either ready or good ideas that can be explored or <coughs> I don't know if I'm clear in what I'm trying to explain. Um, yep, you're clear to me. I understand. And it makes, we, it makes sense. So if we collect subjects, I know that Gitpod uh, is a good experience. A good experience is also what it is to uh, modernize a plugin. These, these I know how to, uh, uh, to, to mount, but uh, I, I think it would be a good idea to prepare a list of subjects we can, oh, this is a topic that would be well, uh, and, and somebody comes along and starts filling in ideas, uh, putting a couple of slides. And so depending on the, the audience, I, I, I started a page listing and that I need to find it back. Those sound great to me. They really do. Uh, now, anyway, the... it is one of the things we can discuss together offline, but, uh, we need to get prepared to, so that we don't have to scramble mm -hmm. to find the uh, subjects. Right. Now the CFP, Olivier said that they only just, uh, Olivier said at governance board meeting that only just a day or two prior to that meeting was when they got off, got that when they were confirmed that they were authorized for the dev room and, and their deadlines have been compressed because, hey, it's coming very fast. So he indicated that, yes, we do need to be aware. And yes, calls for papers will be, the, the opening will come very soon and will probably be much shorter than it has been in the past. Mm. Okay, all right. I think we already talked to the booth availability topic yeah. idea. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, although she code Africa, that might be a good one to encourage, right? invite some of our contributors good good idea jean marc yeah and there is the, the the swag part for the booth but we need to see the logistics of it the stickers right oh oh but, speaking uh, of I, i've got yes thank you i've got another advocacy budget topic item topic so swag for professor andrew myers yeah and just putting on okay go ahead Anything else on FOSDEM? No, maybe when we discuss together, Alisa and myself, that, that we're sure that we cover the different subjects. Mm -hmm. A lot of material here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Scale 19, uh, March 3 through 6 in Pasadena, California. So it's still holding in person, right, Alyssa? They haven't yes. backed off. They haven't converted it to something else. They haven't canceled it. Correct. Still in person at the moment, okay. and uh, you made a submission for our for a session. Um, 
I, I spoke with the organizer and um, they said that they're trying to see how they can uh, accommodate the virtual speaker plus a live speaker combination. So that is TBD at the moment. And then I, um, I'm also uh, um, working with them on a training room. Um, so the, the initial discussion was that Saskia Cloudby's events team would pay for the training room, which is about $3,000. Um, so Saskia is away at AWS at the moment. There's been some changes, so I need to figure out um, how that's going to work out with regards to budget. Okay, so that's so there's there's a risk that we may not be able to do that if we don't have funding for it. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, regardless, we should we st we would still have the booth, the stand there, and that would still be for free. Um, I'm I've yet to hear otherwise, um, but still working out the details. Great. All right. Okay, uh, advocacy budget items. So Alyssa, you and I are working budget request. It's still open as far as I know. Mm -hmm. And I did get a request for a suggestion. So Professor Andrew Myers is a professor at, oops, is a professor at Cornell University mm. who maintains the Condorcet internet voting system. Mm -hmm. Now you may say, what's the Condorcet internet yeah. voting system? Why would I care? Uh -huh. And why is he involved in Jenkins? Well, Condorcet internet voting system, CIBS, is the way we host our Jenkins board elections. Okay. And he had to do some work the day before Thanksgiving to bring back a failed system. Hmm. And we thought, oh, you know what? It would be nice to, to offer him, if he would like it, some swag. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a way that we could do that? If, if, is it, is it feasible? If I can get his email address, could, could yes. he be registered for that? Yes. Um, okay. Can, can we give him the, <clears throat> the, the contributor swag package that we yes. are? Okay. Yes, that would be the, that would be, yes. All right. Yeah, I can add him to the list. And if you can just add his email address there and I'll take care of it. Yeah, and, and I don't have his email address oh, yet. Okay. Uh, so all I've got connection with him is a Twitter account. Okay. And and I will I may have to call him on the phone or, or something to ask for that because email address is sensitive, right? Many people right. just don't want to share it. Right. So, so then Alyssa will, you'll share, you'll do the next step. Um, yeah. send the invitation for swag yeah. great because he and he may choose governance board noted hey he may choose not to have it he may say i don't need i don't mm -hmm. need any any acknowledgement but it's a nice thing to say thank you to for what he did for the jenkins project and he really yeah. did something very positive for us yeah all right that's all that i had on budget google summer of code so um, here, we, it was discussed, it was agreed in governance meeting uh, that we are all, we are, we are doing Google Summer of Code, mm -hmm. but we need, Oleg will probably not be available to help in many ways at all. Mm -hmm. So we will need leaders to take the, to, to run the program, et cetera. Um. Don't forget me that. Right. I don't know what what sw swampy ground that can turn into, <laughs> but uh, this is definitely something I have on my radar to uh, get involved in. Excellent. And so and Alyssa, I, I think you're mm -hmm. also willing to be involved. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So if we could work together, yeah, there and pair, that would work out. Yeah, and, and getting, this will be, a, there's a promotional part of this where we've got to encourage people in the Jenkins project to suggest project ideas. There's a, a technical component where we've got to update the, the Jenkins.io website to show here are the new project ideas for 2022. And then there's a promotional part of this of 
announcing that yes, we are in it and a coordination piece talking with CDF. Right now, the, I, my assumption is we'll still do it with CDF, but I've got to double check that with CDF that they are interested again next year in doing uh, Google Summer of Code. Mm -hmm. So, so can, maybe uh, Alyssa, you can, I can check you, with them. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. It sounds easier when we're pairing on a problem than having to push it alone. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. One is a lonely number. Yeah, that's true. Very well <laughs> said. Three Dog Night. It's been a long time since somebody made a reference to that song. Well done. <laughs> okay. oh, it's, it's, it's a song then. There, there is. One is the loneliest number. By It's an old rock and roll song from long ago. Okay, so I, Jean Marc, given my schedule, I'm prone to say, hey, I will pass control of the meeting off to you and to Alyssa. I need to drop off to get ready for a next meeting. Yep. Uh, or would you like to end for today? We just call us ourselves done and yeah. we'll meet again next time. Yeah, just an update here and, and uh, let's work more in depth later. Uh, I got. Um, uh, access to got the name uh, but to some data sources available uh, and have been browsing no more than 10 minutes I need to make more time available there so that I have a better ID there and then I suggest that uh, uh, we start looking at it together uh, Alyssa and myself mm. And, and you, Mark, definitely, but uh, that, that we start to brainstorm uh, on, on that first, what we dream of and what is available and that we know what is the gap and, and what kind of plan we can work out to better understand our audience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Yes, that sounds really great. Okay. It's Any, still reading books on the subject. Right. Any other topics we need to discuss? Okay, let's call today's session done. Thanks very much. And I'll post the recording probably within 24 hours. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Mark.